Hey everybody, welcome back. Time for some more Nemesis shenanigans. Still snacking on that dude's ball sack. Now we get the fun place to fight Nemesis. This asshole location. Stars. on the stairs. Alrighty. Oh no, foreshadowing. Foreshadow, foreshadow, foreshadow. <clears throat> Hey, Grave Digger. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. All right. 
Now this next little fight, you can just completely avoid by pulling a 180 and going through the door. I think this is where I've always fucked up whenever I've done a let's play of this. And that's why I never got the infinite ammo it's back. Looking good. Is because I always avoided this fight. Just like, ah, oh, just leave this. It's not one of his item drop fights. No, it doesn't quite work like that. Mikhail! Alright, buddy. here because okay Jin, get out of the cable car now Mihai, wait don't get out of here hurry See you, Carlos. It's useless. And by jumping out the window, next time we meet Carlos, we'll get some freeze rounds because we're a cold ass bitch. Sure, there's no gunpowder. Nope. All right, fucking picture, get the fuck out of here! If you don't know to check there, or if you ever come back into this room, then there's a thump and the painting will fall off out of place. And yeah, but yeah, if I could grab the key. Anything in here? Narp. That. Hmm. 
Western custom. Actually, I gotta go to the other side. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go to the other side of the clock tower to get the clock T key. Or the other clock T key. to survive maybe we can start helping each other again yeah it's been rough but we can rest now no we're the only ones left there's no rest for the wicked it... here's a gift for you You fucking left me in the cable car to die, bitch. Here, take these. Alright. <clears throat> I forgot whether the red herbs upstairs were static or not. <clears throat> that is why I, uh... That's why I brought... Yeah... Okay. I don't think they're s I don't actually think they're static, so Yeah, whatever. Fuck you, buddy. So there's either zombies or green demos in there. So both gunpowders are here. There's a chance that one bedroom we were in would have two of the gunpowders, and then the other two would be up in the clock tower where we're heading next, but... Hey! Gee, I wonder whatever that could be. Uh... 
So if we mix gunpowder CC, we'd get 10 freeze rounds. Or we can combine it with 6 grenade rounds to get 12. Now, the thing I forgot is whether or not there are green herbs. I think there's green herbs outside, but we're about to be... Yeah. For some reason, she freaking teleports to the middle of the room. No idea why. Well, we got unlucky. There weren't birds out here. Ah, there we are. The thing is, I don't think these herbs are out here if the, yeah, if you actually, when the boss fight starts later. I don't know if, I think those herbs disappear. Spoders. Spooter spoders. Mm -hmm. Yep. Maybe the red herbs are static. Now, freeze rounds aren't the most powerful against Nemesis Type 1. They're actually better against Nemesis Type 2. But... The, just, like, the multi-hit from it is just really good. And the original, uh, original version, this was, uh, random. And then in, uh, later versions of RE3... It was, uh, actually left to a set, uh... Actually left to a set pattern, because of, well... Tone deaf. Which I actually think that's the pattern. In fact, I think there was one. I think in the version where they actually made it so it wasn't random anymore, I'm pretty sure one of the music boxes actually has this has the solution.
Oh no, it's the Kronos chain. Oh, we got a big bad key thingy. That's a Montrower ammo. since I saved. And we got another... We have another Nemesis fight. Cool figure! He's just been thumping around on the roof and roaring. Wherever could the Nemesis be? <laughs> and the shiny over there is a silver... Silver gear. Uh, let's see. So, there'll be grenades on a corpse. This will get used. These will probably get used. If not, there's a... There's the save room on the way to the door, so... Alright. And the shiny there is the, the silver gear that we need to fuck with the machine back there, but it doesn't have enough little teeth on it, so we gotta go get the gold gear from the other place to combine them together to make the bullshit. Anyway. Hi, Nemi. So, if we push him off, if we use the light, we'll push him through some decayed railing. And we won't get the item. If we use the cord, we'll shock the fuck out of him and get the item. But then he'll still keep chasing us. Tried to swag step. I guess. Okay. Now all I should have to do is take his punk ass out as Carlos because we had the boss fight with him we gotta take him out there. But all I should have to do now is take his punk ass out with Carlos, and then take his punk his uh, type two form out with Jill after she wakes up, and we sh should be golden. I should get the infinite ammo box, which only works with one weapon, <laughs> which I'm going to. Which I know it may sound stupid, but I'm going to use it with the mine thrower for really only one reason. Every time I play this, I've always meant to give the mine thrower infinite ammo because its functionality changes when it gets infinite ammo. So you normally shoot the little dart out and it hits her and goes beep 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 and boom. Well, if you give it infinite ammo, it uh, gains homing capabilities. And I've always both times I LP'd this, I always meant to fight. The, the whole sole purpose of fighting Nemesis was to get the infinite ammo box so I could show that off because I'm dumb. 
But it's just every time I've... And I think it's because I always... I always chickened out at the tram fight. Because it was just like, oh, I don't need to fight him here. Why would I need to fight Nemesis here? What the fuck? No need to fight Nemesis. He just turn around and run away. He doesn't drop an item. Hey, Spooter. No, that's a bad Spooter, Spooter, Spider, Spooter. Will you get your fat furry ass off the door? Goddamn woolly Spooter. That guy just, that guy getting a blowjob in the corner just has a diary. Dear diary, I'm going to die. At, at least I got head. Shame she turned into a zombie halfway through it, but... <laughs> Oops. I'm trying to remember the value. I think it's Crystals 1, Obsidian's... I know Obsidian's 2. I'm pretty sure it's Crystal, Obsidian, Amber in terms of value. Alright, so we got... 4 o'clock, we need to make it 12. So... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. Then that'll bump it ahead two hours. Because the future, the future one's doubled. And then this'll knock it back one hour. And this puzzle's random. Yeah, there's different time. It's all, it's all in some combination to get to 12 o'clock, obviously, but... It's just which one you have to... Alright, so we got the gold gear. I'm gonna derp off some mine thrower rounds in the boss fight just because. Why not? No, bad wool exploder! I mean, at least you're not a lava spoder. That guy's just an asshole. Alright, let's grab some... I probably don't need to grab extra ink ribbons, but fuck it. I'm going to be a coward and save again, so... Okay. 
Let's see if I can actually save. Let's see if I can actually save these. Alright. Now the question is, will I be able to maneuver myself into the appropriate position to be able to get the environment to block Nemesis' shots with his rocket launcher while I am able to shoot him? Sucks to be a helicopter pilot in Resident Evil. No. I... Stars. Stars. Good job, E-Dodge. Okay, he's still walking. I thought he started limping for a second. What the hell? It took her a little bit longer to shoot than I thought. Yeah, go wander into the fire. We all know what happens to VOWs when you add heat. Chill! Chill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. Uh, I woke up to the sound of falling rain. Carlos, what are you doing? I can't believe I'm still alive. Are you being a sleep creeper? Carlos? 
It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I... I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! hey. Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Uh well, she's supposed to say, if I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Yeah, funny thing is if you uh, try to use the emergency brake on the tram and uh, don't jump out, then Carlos jumps out the window. And during... I'm pretty sure that's the trigger for that... Uh, so during that particular boss fight... Um, yeah, Carlos kind of just... He shows up in the beginning of it. And he shoots Nemesis. Um, Nemesis shoots a rocket at him, and it knocks him down. Ooh, crap, fuck! Fuck! Fuck balls! Well, that's great. Uh, anyway, Nemesis shoots uh, shoots a rocket at him, knocks him down, and when he's laying on the ground, he opens fire. And. Uh, blows up Nemesis' rocket launcher. Which honestly makes the fight harder, because then Nemesis doesn't have a rocket launcher to, uh, occupy his attention. So you have to deal with the usual Nemesis of grabby grabby throwy throwy. You know what? Fuck this shit. No. Nope. Not doing it. Bullshit. I call shenanigans. I call fucking shenanigans on that shit. No doing, no how, mm-mm. Resident Evil. I am not getting fucked over at this point when it comes to showing off that stupid ass fucking mind thrower thing. Funny thing, I wonder, is it already pre- are the event things already preceded? So if anything, this bit here should be the same. I think, hmm. I do know whether they decide to go turbo or not is seeded. Or is random. Okay, so they aren't... Okay, so the things aren't... See, there's no zombies in there this time. Fuck, goddamn. Cunt whore motherfucker. And why didn't you go through the door? I was holding the button down. Oh, crap. Do we got Zambos or... Oh wait, no, we don't have anything yet. It's when we come back, it's either Zambos or Worms.
want to waste any more ammo than I have to. Because I have freaking cancer ridden assholes to deal with. Hunter betas! Oh god. I forgot there were two of you motherfuckers. Fucking blast through those guys. Also, depending on how RNG favors me in this place, is when we're going to get certain events that could cost us quite a bit of ammo. I don't want to get cost on ammo. Okay, we got some handgun bullets. Recorder MacGuffin. Ow. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, Voice recognition, you think they'd have like a specific phrase or something to say. Uh, we'll, we'll have an easier time if we go to the fourth floor first, just because of how the events work and how bombs are placed. Supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! See you, fucker. Sick room key. I forgot if there's any more bullets around here.
253. It's gonna be in one of the two spots. I'm not bothering wasting ammo or anything on the fucking zombies in there. 253. It's gonna be one of the two... One of the two in the back. 50-50 chance. So... Basically, if there are zombies, then it's going to be 253, it's going to be one of the two things at the back. And, you know, you can actually check the slip. If there are worms in there, I forgot what the passcode was. Okay, that was wrong. If the worms are in there, then you can see the two, uh... It'll, you'll see what it'll be on the other side of the room if there are worms, and the passcode will be different. So... There's no point in... No point in burning ammo or health trying to, you know, just like either shoot them or I could let them bite my ankle. Or I could just do this. Yeah, just T virus fucking vaccine just right there. The ba the base for the T virus vaccine. Alright, so are we we're probably not going to get the zombie horde on the third floor then. We could. Doubtful. But because we're gonna be dealing with Nope. So there are going to be a, there's going to be a zombie horde outside the elevator on the first floor, but that bomb's right there now. So bitch. handgun bullets because unfortunately we're gonna have to ah there's the herbs unfortunately we're gonna have to burn through quite a sum of um, assault rifle ammo to cut through the zombies There's like one, there's one more hunter, well, two more hunters we have to kill. Well, not really have to, but it's, health-wise, it's better. I mean, one we can just blow up with a single bullet, so. Hey, you need to turn on this thing? You need steam? Okay, you need some steam. We'll just drain the water that, you know... We'll drain the frog broth. This is always the same. 1-3-A. And 
Oh no, the hunter gammas are breaking out. Big ol' froggy hunter that can swallow your asshole. I mean, swallow you whole. And Carlos didn't want to go through the door for some reason because he's fucking retarded. Oh well. No damage, no foul. Whatever. Okay. One, one, two, three, four. Still got biggin. Or still got the one. Cool! Actually managed to nail them both in a single shot. Now we got fucking corpse party on the first floor. Because they didn't pop up anywhere else. So... minutes can I make it back to the lovely Jill and fight off the retarded nemesis in eight minutes eh. um the bright side we got we got all our healing I we have all the healing items that we can have At least we have all the healing ends we can have on hard mode. Easy mode, I'm pretty sure Carlos gets a first aid box like Jill does when you start. Oh no, it's a time based bomb. Eh. Damn it, Bobby. See, that's the problem with time bomb set and get out now. If you were smart, motherfucker, you would have put remote bombs in there, and then once you got done, you would have just walked out, got beyond the blast radius, and blew the fucking place up with Carlos in it. It's like, dude. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Oh, hey. Be gone, thoughts. Derp demos. Should I even fucking... I should be able to do it with... I should be able to do it like this. Goddamn cock-blocking Drain Demos. Nemesis! Get your punk bitch ass down here! Got a few hundred rounds of 5.56 five, to shove up your dick hole. Emmy! Have you been paying attention to those frickin' Japanese fashion magazines?
So, um, while he is much, he does a lot more damage in this form, he's a lot slower. He's a lot slower. Luckily, he was hungry and he ate all the zombies. So, surprisingly enough, he didn't run away. Because at that point, he can actually uh, decide to say, fuck this shit, and he just walks into the next room. And he'll make his way... Eventually, you can fight him in the dining room. And then, uh, eventually, he might fuck off and just break the... Literally break the door down. Break down the loading screen! And make those two rooms one room. And try to, uh... He'll start attacking the door... And if you don't, you could just run in and end the whole sequence, but if you're trying to fight him off, you could start attacking the chapel door, and if he manages to break it down, then you just get a death scene of him with his tentacles wrapped around Jill, just smashing her on the fucking floor over and over again. I'm surprised he didn't run away, though. Carlos... barely made it. How do you feel? Uh, I'm okay. What happened to you? I just fought with that monster. Uh, I've got some bad news. Nikolai's still alive. But I thought he was dead. Didn't die on uh, camera. That guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead. What is he after? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that he is our enemy. I'm sorry, Jill, but there's something I gotta take care of. I promise I'll meet up with you later. But don't worry. Okay, so what should we be off doing? Alright, so we, I know we have full health. Hmm. Do I want to fuck about with... Bah, I'll just... I'll just stash the mine thrower for now. Should All right. Well, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.